Hello. So let's quickly go through how to solve what problems involving proportions. Now the first example I'll be taking is uh, Shola can finish three bowls of noodles in five minutes. How long will it take Shola to finish two bowls of noodles? Don't forget we have a proportions when two ratios are equal. So now Shola can finish three bowls in five minutes. How long will it take Shola to finish two bowls? So what we are saying is two bowls in uh, how many minutes? Let's say M minutes. We don't know it. So that's what we are looking for. So what you do, the trick to this is to create uh, a ratio. We have ensuring that you have the ones with the same units on each side, the other parts with the same unit on the other side. So we have three bows all over two bows equals to five minutes all over m since m is in minutes that's what we are looking for but then i can't do calculations with this unit so i write three over two equals to five over m just like we have when solving for pro missing values in a proportion we cross multiply so I have uh, 3m equals to 2 multiplied by 5, which means 3m equals to 10. m will be equals to 3.33 minutes. So this is what I'm saying. If Shola can finish 3 bowls in um, 5 minutes, that means it will finish 2 bowls in or oh, 3.33 minutes. Another example 2. A complete cleaner was paid 3,500 naira in 7 days for working 5 hours a day. How much will be paid to her for 16 days if she works 7 hours a day? So here we have it. Solution. So you say answer. She's paid uh, 3,500 naira in seven days for five hours a day five hours a day now what we are saying is seven days she worked for five hours a day what we are saying is she earned three thousand five hundred naira in 35 hours which is 7 multiplied by 5. You are work 5 hours a day and you work for 7 days. It means you have worked for 35 hours. So, it means you have worked for 35 hours. If you have um, 16 days, in 16 days, in 16 days for 7 hours, it means that the total number of hours she she would work, total number of hours will be equal to 16 multiplied by 7, which equals to uh, 16 multiplied by 7, 16, 7, 7 multiplied by 6 is 42, 2 keep 4 here, 7 multiplied by 1 is 7 plus 1, that's 11. That means he has worked for 112 hours. So now, Let's convert this to a proportion. We have uh, 3,500 Naira over X Naira. That's what we are looking for. We are looking for X equals to 3,500 for 35 hours. Then X Naira for 112 hours. Don't forget I said make sure that the ones with the same unit on this one side the other ones with the same unit on the other side. So we cross multiply. We have uh, 3,005 multiplied by 112 will be equal to 35 multiplied by x. So here the answer will be, uh, we divide both sides by the coefficient of the unknown. So x will be equal to 3 five five multiplied by one one two all over thirty five so thirty five will cancel out thirty five 
which we have 1. So 112 multiplied by 100 will give us 11,200 Naira. So if she works for 16 days, 7 hours a day, she should be paid 11,200 uh, same way she was paid 3,005 for working 35 hours. Let's see another way of doing that. Uh, alternatively, this should be shorter. How much does she earn per day? You can say how much does she earn per day? How much does she earn per day? If someone works for, or someone earns 3,500 Naira in uh, seven days. So how much will you earn in one day? So you can cross multiply again. You have a uh, 3,005 multiplied by one equals to seven multiplied by X. That's three, five equals to seven X. X will be equals to three, five divided by 7, which equals to 500 Naira. So that means this person earns 500 Naira in a day. So now we are asking that, uh, that means he earns 500 Naira per day. Now, you earn 500 Naira per day, but she works for how many hours in a day? She works for 5 hours daily, which means per hour, Per hour, she earns 500 Naira all over 5, which is 100 Naira per hour. She earns 100 Naira per hour. So going back to our question, which we say is, if she works for 7 hours now, for 16 days, you earn 100 Naira per hour, which means if you work for, if she works for 7 hours, if she works for 7 hours, in 16 days and you earn 100 naira per hour so that means we have what you earn is 100 multiplied by 7 hours multiplied by the number of days that you have worked if you calculate this together 7 multiplied by 16 like we saw for the other time is 112 multiplied by 100 we still have 11,200 naira so here that way you are saying the same thing so what you also need here is a good understanding and interpretation of the question, put them together appropriately, and you get the right answer. So you can try this on your own, and drop your answers in the comment section. I will tell you if you are right or wrong. If this video has helped you, share with your friends, like my Facebook page, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and watch out for more videos. Thank you.